Hello, and welcome to a very special untubing. As you can see, it is a sun tub untubing based on the tape on the ends. This is an art print. Not just any art print, an art print of the Jaws cover. Uh, most famously, the Jaws poster by uh, was it Roger Castle. I believe it's Roger, not Richard. I think it's Roger Castle. I apologize, Mr. Castle. But uh, I'm terrible when it comes to names of these behind-the-scenes things. So if you hadn't seen, uh, Jaws is the newest SunTop edition. Uh, if you're watching this video right now, uh, you can still possibly enter the drawing for the lottery for the Roman numeral edition. Otherwise, you're going to have to get stick to the secondary. All the artist editions sold out in pre-sale. Numbered edition, there were 15 that made it to a lottery. That lottery is now closed. Lettered editions completely sold out. Uh, there were also prints, uh, Zeke Clay prints of the Jaws cover, and little acrylic cubes, paperweights, uh, which I also pre-ordered one. But anyways, these sold out really quick, but I couldn't help myself. Which is a very funny thing to say, because I'm not particularly a fan of the novel. It's an unpopular opinion, I know. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the film, though. And so, for me... Oh, I don't know if I can show... Oh, wow. I, I, I unscrolled that right with boobs in your face. Uh, pardon that. But you've probably seen the Jaws poster on YouTube. Hopefully YouTube doesn't yell at me. It's not monetized anyways. But look at that. Look at the quality. Look at the colors. Oh, my God. It is signed by Roger Castle. Right down there in the corner, you have your little information right down there. 2021 Sun Tub cover painting, Roger Castle, copyright 1975, from the film and the first Bantam uh, pickback of Jaws. That, that is stellar. Oh my God. Let's see if I can... Don't mean to cover the boobs there, but we're going to kind of flatten it out. No, we're not. All right. Anyways... Uh, yeah, that is beautiful. Huge fan of the Z Clay prints that Suntup does. They did, like, the covers collection with the Stephen King books that has ended. Uh, they did a cover of, they did a print for the Fahrenheit 451 cover. That's, let me try to get a close-up on that. You can almost see just, like, how vibrant it is. Uh, Michael Whalen is what I was saying for the Fahrenheit 451 cover. And then they also did, uh, reproductions of... Uh, I Am Legend, which I have a copy of that as well. It's just astounding. Uh, so as I was saying, Jaws is their new title. If you're currently watching this, uh, it's sold out. I don't know why I'm saying if you're currently watching this, because if you're not watching it, you're not going to hear me talk anyways. It's sold out. Um, as I was saying, I'm not a huge fan of Jaws. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the movie, which is why this is so important to me. But I think it's one of those things where the one of those rare occasions where the movie is better than the book. And unfortunately, I think the, kind of like the film's popularity and the zeitgeist of it kind of encompassed and brought the novel in with it. Uh, it's kind of very similar to The Exorcist in that way. The Exorcist, not a lot of people have read the book, but everyone knows the movie and it kind of all encompasses it. The difference being the Exorcist novel is a phenomenal novel. Jaws novel, it's a novel. I just think the humans are despicable. <laughs> you really want the shark to win in the novel. You don't have, like, the charm of uh, Richard Dreyfuss, uh, Quince, a very boring character in the novel. But, um, anyways, to each their own. Uh, but the additions from Suntup, holy crap, those are incredible. Like, if you haven't seen it, stop this video, go check that shit out. Uh, the artist editions use... Uh, Plastic, like recycled plastic from the oceans. Uh, the numbered editions, the numbered edition is one of the finest numbered editions I've ever seen. It's got a vertical cap slipcase, so instead of closing like that, it's vertical cap. Top half, bottom half. Uh, beautiful quarter, quarter leather binding, kind of the surface of water with uh, Japanese cloth below it. Uh, the lettered edition, it's a good edition. It's got some... Uh, Fish scales on the spine, and it's compassed in a wooden... I like my hand mannerisms doing this. A wooden uh, clamshell case that's, uh, oh my god, modeled after the boat, the orca. 
And then the letter, the Roman numeral edition has just the most beautiful staining on the edges. Uh, unfortunately, I would say the Roman numeral edition is the like the one that wowed me the least. It's very, it, I mean, not that it didn't wow me, it wowed me, but like the other editions, holy crap, that's presentation. The limit, the Roman numeral, I imagine it's all in that material. Once you get it in your hands, it's a completely different experience. But um, but yeah. This print, signed by Roger Castle. Uh, Castle is not signing the numbered edition, but he is signing the lettered and the Roman numeral. So I'm missing out on that. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to get myself signed print instead. Glad I got it. Oh, my God. Um, so check out the novel. Maybe you'll like the characters a little better than I did. Uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, I know Peter, Gen Peter Benchley's legacy. Peter Benchley is the one that wrote the novel. Uh, he really got big into the conservation of the ocean and marine biology, and him and his, his widow, uh, Wendy Benchley, uh, have a lot of great causes that way. Uh, check out the Jeff Words channel, Jeffing Off, formerly Jeffing Off, Jeff Terry's channel, where he actually did an interview with Wendy Benchley. Uh, very interesting stuff. Gives you a very nice aspect to it. Anyways, I'm just rambling over a picture of the print for six minutes here. But uh, the print is, is sold out. You can probably find it on the secondary market. It's probably going to have a significant markup. But uh, wow, it's beautiful quality, as one would expect from Suntup Editions. And it's, it's art. Like I said, it's, it, to me, it's not a spectacular novel. Spectacular film, not necessarily a spectacular novel. But the quality, even in... A less than stellar novel still shines through. Like Paul does not half-ass anything, as is apparent through his Jaws editions. Uh, but anyway, seriously, check out Suntup Editions, Suntup.press. Check out the Jeff Ward's channel where he interviews Wendy Benchley. And wow, and we'll see you around. Thank you.